4 and filmcast.com 53. Philomena. I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager. She's kept it secret for 50 years. I was going to ask if it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story. What about Anne Boleyn? That's a lovely net. Or will somebody had no, that? Think, we're going to have to use your real name, Philomena. I did not abandon my child. He was taken from me. She's been looking for him. She's spent her whole life trying to find him. We just saw Philomena starring Judy Dench. It's about an Irish woman, a mystery of, about a child that was, was given up for adoption. Uh, I, I really like this movie. I think it has pretty broad appeal. Uh, Judy Dench, I think most of us would agree she's a strong actress. She carries the film well. The writing is great to me. I thought it was a, a lot of humorous elements to keep it from getting too serious. It is a heart-wrenching story. I think it's a pretty broad appeal movie. My name is Daniel Laurie. I'm a screenwriting student at last year University. Lynch. I think it's quite an accomplishment to deal with such a heavy topic in such a, and be able to do it and execute it in such a comedic way. I think the story is, is, is not overly complicated. It's very simple and, and easy to follow, but in, in a way that really emphasizes on the emotional tones and the arcs of the characters who both, you know, over, go over many things and cross lots of, lots of ground, both emotionally and physically in the film. So, All right. I loved it. Uh, I love the storyline. I love the location shots. I love that it was a true story. I love the theme of forgiveness. It was a good movie. Spoiler time. I already gave away a bit, but basically this is the story of a woman in the opening scenes. It's the birthday of her, of her child. It's a child that was given up for adoption, sort of against her will, even though she signed a contract that made it fully legitimate. She had had a child out of wedlock. Her option for survival was to live in a, a convent uh, where she was allowed to spend an hour a day with her child, uh, knowing full well that eventually the child would, would likely be given up for adoption. Mm -hmm. and, and the child was, I guess it was a common phenomenon of the mm -hmm. era. The child was born in 52. Many children from Ireland who were orphans mm -hmm. were given American mm -hmm. parents. There's a great uh, mystery element to me. There's a lot of rev layers of revelation that, that keep you, that keep tension maintained, mm -hmm. and keep you interested in the story, you know, what's gonna happen next, and then the, the comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any standout scenes for you guys? Yeah, for me, the first one when she, she discovers that her child has passed away and she will, she'll not be able to meet him in person. And then the second is when she discovers that she was lied to by the nuns back at the convent and they in fact knew where their child was. Now these are very important scenes, very heart-wrenching to the audience and in a way that really builds up to the whole idea of forgiveness. The audience itself was visibly angry around you watching the film. And so when, that just makes it all the more powerful when the, when the woman reveals she's willing to forgive and move on. That was, that was amazing because the contrast to her attitude and the mm -hmm. foil or whatever you call it, the, the yeah. person who identified with us was mm -hmm. the angry uh, journalist who mm -hmm. I felt the way many of us in the audience did. Any standout moments? I really liked it when she saw the, the picture of the nun, Hildegard, with her son and that he'd come back to Ireland. She had this whole time believing that her son was never going to try to find her, didn't think about Ireland, and to find out that he wanted his final resting place to be in Ireland. And I, I liked how the end brought us back to the beginning and her confrontation of Hildegard and to see the supposedly godly nun just spewing venom even after all these years. And here the sinful mother out of wedlock was the one who really had the Christ-like character and had forgiveness. Very pivotal at the moment. So overall, I think uh, a broad three thumbs up. I call it a dramedy, British drama comedy. If you're expecting Marvel Comics movies, not for you. A lot of fun to watch, an emotional roller coaster, but well worth the ride. Yeah, absolutely. All right, go Loved see it. it. Ciao. <laughs>